नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड वेलकम यू ऑल द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट टुडे ऑन 18th जुलाई 2025 वी विल सी हाउ वाज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट 24 आवर्स एंड वी व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर इन द कमिंग नेक्स्ट वन वीक इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द ऑब्जर्वर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट 24 आवर्स देन एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल इट इज रेनफॉल वाज ऑब्जर्वड एट अदर प्लेसेस ओवर ईस्ट मध्य प्रदेश एंड ईस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल वाज ऑब्जर्वड ओवर कोस्टल कर्नाटक कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना सब मल वेस्ट बंगाल उड़ीसा वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश ईस्ट राजस्थान एंड वेस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश ऑल्सो हैवी रेनफॉल वाज रिपोर्टेड ओवर वेस्ट राजस्थान मिजोरम आसाम अरुणाचल प्रदेश बिहार गोवा मध्य महाराष्ट्र रायलसीमा तमिलनाडु नॉर्थ इंडिया कर्नाटक एंड छत्तीसगढ़ If we talk about the main synoptic features, then the depression over northwest Madhya Pradesh and adjoining southwest uh, Uttar Pradesh, it has moved further in the west-northwest direction with a speed of 70 km per hour during past six hours today morning at 8:30 hours IST, and it was lying over the same region. It was approximately 20 km southeast of Bhind, 50 km northeast of Gwalior. It is likely to move west-northwest towards across northwest Madhya Pradesh and east Rajasthan and weaken gradually into a well-marked low pressure area during next 24 hours. Also, the cyclone circulation over central parts of Pakistan it now extends up in the lower atmospheric levels. The western disturbance today morning at it uh, it's seen around 62 degree east longitude to the north of latitude 30 degree north. There is also an upper cyclone circulation over northeastern Assam and neighboring lower atmospheric levels. Also, there is upper cyclone circulation over coast, south to coastal Andhra Pradesh and neighborhood up to middle atmospheric levels, and it tilts southwestward with height. There is also an east-west trough which runs roughly on 13 degree north, uh, 4.8, 5 and 5.8 kilometer above mean sea level. There is also an upper cyclone circulation which was present yesterday over north India and Karnataka is now uh, seen over Madhya Maharashtra and neighborhood. The monsoon trough today it passes through Bikaner, Sikar, center of depression over northwest Madhya Pradesh and adjoining southwest Uttar Pradesh, Siddhi, Dalton Ganj, Purulia, Kontai, and then east south eastward to northeast Bay of Bengal. So, in addition to the monsoon trough, which is now passing through Bikaner and the Sikar, as we just uh, heard about it, there is also a likelihood of formation of a fresh low pressure area over northern parts of Bay of Bengal around 24th of July 2025. Under the influence of depression over northwest Madhya Pradesh and adjoining southwest Uttar Pradesh, heavy to very heavy rainfall like is likely to continue over Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan during next two days, and I should extremely heavy falls is also likely over West uh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan on 18th of July. Heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely to continue over Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu during next week. Uh, entire week and we are also expecting actually extremely heavy falls over kerala during 18th to 20th and coastal karnataka on 18th of july if we talk about the warning of uh, day wise that is on today that is on 18th of july 2025 then red alert, red alert has been issued for uh, rajasthan both east and west rajasthan west madhya pradesh where extremely heavy rainfall activity is likely also red alert has been issued for uh, our uh, kerala where also i said extremely heavy rainfall activity is likely coastal karnataka south india karnataka Uh, Tamil Nadu, coastal Andhra Pradesh, and Madhya Maharashtra are expected to receive isolated places. Are likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity. And accordingly, orange alert has been issued. And in eastern parts of Madhya Pradesh and west Uttar Pradesh, also isolated places are likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity. And orange alert has been issued. Other than that, uh, yellow alert has been issued for most part uh, for isolated places uh, in eastern parts of the country where thunderstorm and lightning activity is likely. Over western Himalayan region, over Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, heavy rainfall activity is likely uh, today. That is on the 18th of July. If we talk about 19th of July as day two, then we are expecting uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over Rajasthan and western parts of Madhya Pradesh in isolated places. Therefore, orange alert has been issued. Also, the heavy to very heavy rainfall activity is likely to continue over coastal Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, South India, Karnataka, and coastal Karnataka on 19th of July. Kerala is expected to have a very heavy rainfall activity, but I should extremely heavy rainfall activity on 19th, and accordingly, a red alert has been issued. Also, for the western Himalayan region, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand are likely to receive very heavy rainfall activity on 19th. From 20th of July, it is likely that uh, the uh, Uttarakhand may receive I have a very heavy rainfall activity. Along with that, I should extremely heavy rainfall activity on 20th and 21st of July, and accordingly, a red alert has been issued for Uttarakhand. Also, heavy rainfall activity is likely over Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh. If you talk about Rajasthan, then West Rajasthan and Haryana uh, and Uttar Pradesh, particularly West Uttar Pradesh, are likely to see widespread heavy rainfall activity and uh, yellow alert has been issued. Through the south, southern parts of the country, Konkan and Goa, coastal Karnataka, South India Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu are expected to see heavy to very heavy rainfall activity, and Kerala is expected to see heavy to very heavy rainfall activity. Along with that, I should extremely heavy rainfall activity on 20th uh, and on both 19th and 20th, and according to the red alert has been issued. If you talk about 21st of July. Uh, then we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over Himachal Pradesh, West Uttar Pradesh, and in southern parts of the country. If you talk about South India Karnataka, Coastal Karnataka, and Kerala, and only orange alert has been issued. Isolated places are also in uh, 
Kunk and Goa are also likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity on 21st and on Israel has been issued. For uh, other parts of the country, particularly in the eastern parts of the country, north eastern parts of the country, ashes to places are likely to receive heavy rainfall activity and only yellow alert has been issued. And thunderstorm and lightning activities likely over Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Marathwada on 21st and 22nd of July. If you talk about day 5, it is particularly on 22nd of July, then uh, Himachal Pradesh and uh, Uttarakhand are likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity with uh, isolated uh, very heavy rainfall activity. Uh, and we are also expecting isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over South India, Karnataka and Coastal Karnataka on 22nd of July. Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Coastal Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, North India, Karnataka, Madhya Maharashtra, Konka and Goa are expected to receive isolated places are expected to receive heavy rainfall activity. North Central parts of the country are expected to receive uh, heavy rainfall activity in isolated places on 22nd of July. You would have 23rd and 24th of July, day 6 and day 7. Over eastern parts of the country, we are expecting isolated places likely to receive heavy rainfall activity, particularly over Gangetic West Bengal, Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Coastal Andhra Pradesh on 23rd, and Gangetic West Bengal, Jharkhand, Odisha on 24th of July. We are also expecting isolated places heavy rainfall activity over Vidarbha on 23rd and 24th of July and if towards western side over Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan and Goa uh, on 23rd and 24th and, and also in over Karnataka on 23rd and 24th. So these were the warning for uh, next 7 days. For any updated information please visit IMD's uh, social media handles and also IMD website. We will meet again tomorrow with similar kind of information. Till then have a good time. Namaskar. Jai Hind.